Hi, I'm Devjani Mitra. I'm a program manager on the SharePoint team. If your organization has a diverse population, you might want to create your content in many different languages. With SharePoint's multilingual publishing solution, you can do this really easily. Let's jump in. Multilingual publishing has been a big customer ask from communication sites and organization news. So I'm excited today to give you a demo of how it works. Here I am on the benefits site in Contoso. This is where Contoso's global workforce comes to learn about their benefits at the company. And as you can see, I see this site in English because that is my user preference. But on the top right here, we have a language dropdown and I can go ahead and change this to Spanish. And notice that the site is now available to me in Spanish. So let me show you how multilingual publishing works from an author's standpoint. Here I am as an author on the benefit site. I've drafted up a news post announcing a new benefit at the company, and this news post is in English, which is the default language on this site. But Contoso being a global company needs their news posts and pages on the benefit site to be translated to other languages. So to do that, I can click on the translations icon in the command bar and then kick off translations in the languages that th this needs to be translated into. When I do this, what it does under the hood is that it creates a copy of this original news post in each of those languages and it sends a notification to the designated translators for each of those languages that they need to come in and translate their copy. Now those languages and their translators can be easily set up under site settings. When translators get that notification, they can click on it and come to their copy of the page that looks something like this. So here I am a Spanish translator. I clicked on that notification, arrived on my copy, and you can see I've already started translating this page. Now the really great thing is not only can I translate the text, but I can also go ahead and add or update and edit web parts on this page. So this means I can really create content that my audience needs. When I'm ready, I can go ahead and post news so that end users can get the benefit of multilingual pages and news posts. We also notify translators when that original news post is updated. When they get that notification, translators have a, have a link that takes them to the original news post. Here they can see exactly what changed using page versioning. So translators can go to page details and you can see version history down here. They can click on it. They can select the version they want to diff against and then highlight those changes on the page. And this shows translators exactly which web parts changed, what changed in them, who made the change and when, so that translators can make the decision of which of these to incorporate into their copy. If you'd like to learn more about information architecture, governance, or even how to train folks in your organization about SharePoint, you can go to docs.microsoft.com slash SharePoint to learn more.